so in, in this second lecture we plan to take following topics so we will be seeing uh, seeing what are the editors are used to create autolisp programs then what is the structure of program and how to load it then we will be also covering the user input some of the user input functions and display control functions and we will also cover the concept of comments so for autolisp programming editor used is inbuilt so you can use is from tools autolisp visual lips editor so if there is no file is running you can say new file maximize so a new blank file will start so this uh, autolisp program will always start with left parenthesis as we see in, in previous lecture also so every statement of autolisp will start with left parenthesis so as a target we will uh, develop here a program to create a sum of two numbers as an example so so program will start with left parenthesis then you have to say defun so this is a defun function this we will be covering in detail in the coming lecture so right now you just keep in mind so defun to be written then you have to write c colon c colon and after that you have to give the name of the command that you want to give to your so when this program will be loaded and from what list how to use that program you have to give the command name so i will give the name to this program as a sum then you have to give to empty bracket so after that i will press suppose enter and uh, every open bracket should be closed so i will keep it closed this different function so in between of this i will have to write my program so suppose i want to create a program for making sum of two number so at first i have to accept input from the user so for uh, taking the input from the user you have to use user input functions so if uh, you want to take a integer number so you have to use get int then you have to give the message to the user so that user will understand what you have to do then to get the real number from the user you have to use get real and you have to give the message so suppose we want to uh, accept first number as integer so we will write here in our program so at first uh, you will have to save that value to some variable also so i will start with set queue then i will give the number uh, name of the variable suppose i will say number 1 then uh, again bracket so i want to take the input from the user so i am using int get int for accepting the user input and after that i have to give the message so i will say to the user enter number 1 as it, it is a string so you have to give double quote so i will close this bracket you will see that it is indicating which bracket has been closed so in this way every open bracket should be closed so this is a i am using integer get in to get the integer number so i want second number to be real so i will say again set queue suppose number 2 is the next variable name then i want to use the function get real so i will accept a real number from the user so i am giving the message enter number 2 so i will close the string with double quotes then i will give closing bracket so uh, in this way i have accepted two numbers from the user so after that i want to make the sum of these two numbers so i will say set queue sum 